Hi there Stampers and thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to be making this super adorable card using the top note die as a purse. Super, super cute and super easy. Let's get started. I'll be using the Stampin' Up! Top Note die for the Big Shot and some of Stampin' Up!'s Cottage Wall designer paper. It's double-sided. Isn't it delicious? The double-sided paper makes this project. I'm going to do a little bit different paper than I did on the original. I'm going to go with the old olive and polka dots and some floral on the back. I'm going to make the floral the bottom of the purse. So I'm going to line this up with the edge of the die. We'll sandwich it in between two cutting pads and then we'll run it through the Big Shot die cut machine. Oh, don't you just love this shape? So we have our double sided top note. I want to take a pair of scissors and just trim off these two points on the edges and then I'm going to fold over the top to make our purse shape. Isn't that stinking cute? We'll take a little bone folder to make a nice crisp line there. And there's our purse. So I'll take a tiny little bit of snail adhesive just to hold this. Then I'll be using the flower punch upside down on some scrap paper from the same designer paper series. And I'm going to punch out two flowers. And just take your bone folder on your top flower and just curl up the edges a little. This gives it just a little character. I'm going to take a little snail and we're going to snail that right on top. We're going to slide a sixteenth of an inch hole punch right into the center. Pop a hole. And I'll be taking the 5 eighths inch neutral reds. These are really fun. I'll take the very vanilla. One little stamp and dimensional on the back of this. Place that right down onto our purse. So stinking cute. Okay, for the purse handle I've taken the rich razzleberry polka dot ribbon because there's a lot of rich razzleberry in this designer paper and they go really well together. And we have some polka dots on the top too. So I've got about a six inch piece here and I've put two little pieces of snail just on the sides of the center here, maybe an inch and a half apart. And what I'm going to do is just fold down the edges and this gives us a nice flat handle. And then I'm going to put a little bit of snail on the front of the bottom and then that attaches as our purse handle. Our card base is Rich Razzleberry. Our inner panel is Craft Naturals and I'm going to take a little bit of Rich Razzleberry. I'll be using the Stampin' Up! Celebration set called Whimsical Words. I got this free with a $50 order. I love free stamps but look at how beautiful these words are. So I'm going to use Happiness Always. This is the clear mount version so I'll be using the clear mount block B. So I'll just ink this up in the Rich Razzleberry ink and I'm going to stamp it in the lower right hand corner of our Craft Naturals cardstock. For the final accent I'll be using the Stampin' Up! Rich Razzleberry Stampin' Right marker and one of the coolest Stampin' toys ever invented. This is called the Color Spritzer. It's like almost like a little airbrush that you use with the Stampin' Right markers. Take the brush tip end, slide it right in so that it's right at that nozzle and then tighten it up so it stays there on its own. So what I'm going to do is give this a really powerful squeeze. Look at, oh my gosh, isn't that awesome? It is so cool and it changes where the marker is on here. It will change. So see how that's more flex, one's fine and one's de deeper? It is the coolest thing ever. Love that! And now all we need to do is attach our card together. I'm just going to use a little snail on the base. And we'll take some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of our purse segment. And the purse just attaches at a little angle. Isn't that stinking cute? So here's our original and here it is with a different paper. Both of them are awesome. Be sure to visit the blog for tons more tutorials and samples. Thanks for joining me today.